จมเรียบสู้บองปอนต่างอ๊อกนี้ออกกุญแจในบ้านโจมกตุสนาวิดีโอรบกยมบองปอนพิจารณาประหารจิตจำบันแทนการปิดชั้นนำเติมม้วนขยมทลอบบานโจรวมการวิธีประกวดตัวมหกโกเรตามวิดีโอหายชั้นนำนี้เกี่ยวกับจำการวิธีนำมาดองเตี้ยดชั้นนำขยมก่อสำหรับจัดโยมมหกปีมุกแต่โจรวมในขนมการประกวดนู้จมวันนังเกดได้ขยมสังคมทับองค์ปอนโจจัดหายจุยความตัววิดีโอบอกขยมไอ้บ้านจราจรดาวไอ้โจรมตูสนาพร้อมแต่งจดไลน์หนึ่งเชียร์พองได้ในขนมวิดีโอนี้ขยมนั่งในเยจีพิซซ่าองเล่ดำใบเอาในรีบจำคำวิธียุลก็เป็นแต่ขยมบ้านเซเซจีพิซซ่าขมายคลักคลานในคางกราวได้โดยเฉพาะองค์ปอนไอ้เมื่อตามเอาไว้ได้ขยมบ้านเซเซบ้านขอบคุณองค์ปอนแต่งออกนี้ Hello everyone Thank you for checking my video If you have read the English subtitle written from the beginning of this video, you might know that this video is specially made for Play Korean Food Season 3 Cooking Contest. I am so excited for this contest, and the theme of this video is Camping Relaxing Korean Cooking. Of course, we can enjoy Korean food not only in the restaurant or at home, but in a beautiful camping site as well. First, I'm going to make spicy stir-fry squid with pork belly. I hope you enjoy this video. I will start by chopping two cloves of garlic to make stir-fry sauce. After garlic are finely chopped, put it in a bowl, then put one tablespoon of sugar. And don't forget a pinch of salt and two tablespoons of Korean pepper flake. Next, we're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of oyster sauce for umami flavor. Here comes to the main ingredient, which is Korean pepper paste. We'll need around one and a half tablespoon. The last ingredient for the stir-fry sauce is half tablespoon of sesame oil. Then stir it well until everything is well combined, and the sauce should have a balanced taste of sweetness and saltiness. In this bowl, I have 500 grams of squid. Let's pour all the sauce in and mix it well. After that, we also need some vegetable. I'm going to chop some green onion, then one small onion, and some green chili, and a few more cloves of garlic. Now all the ingredients we need for this stir fry is well prepared, so it's time for the pork belly. Here I have 500 grams of pork belly, which I'm going to sear to render out some fat and make crispy and golden brown on the edge. After the pork belly is well seared, you can chop it into small pieces by using scissors or cut it on a chopping board. As you see, there is so much fat in the pan, so I have to remove the fat with kitchen towel first and then put in all the chopped vegetables except the garlic. Fry all the veggie with pork belly until you can smell a delicious fragrance. Now let's put the marinade squid and stir fry it until completely cooked. The squid doesn't take long to cook at all. Oh, and don't forget the garlic. Just around 15 to 20 minutes, we can make this beautiful, delicious Korean spicy squid stir fried. It is not so difficult, right? Now it is time to enjoy. Serve it with different green leaf and hot steamed rice. If you love Korean food, you might know that Koreans love to fry rice with this kind of food at the last, and I will do so today. So what are the ingredients we can put into the fried rice? It is so simple. All we need is some rice and of course some well fermented kimchi. Maybe some chopped lettuce and dry seaweed. You can also add a little bit more of sesame oil or some fish roll. It is a very well comfort food that we can enjoy. 
Would you like to try it in your next campaign? Now the sun is set. After done eating our first meal, we take some time to admire this beautiful sunset sky and listen to the evening bird chipping. It is so beautiful and relaxing. Now it is getting dark and I start to cook another meal to complete this beautiful day. Can you guess what I'm cooking? I make busam or known as pork boil. I will start by pouring 1 liter of water into a pot. Then I'm going to prepare the boil ingredient. Here I have one apple and I cut it into half then remove the core. For onion, I cut it in half and will use the whole things. Next I have ginger but I need only two thick slices. Last but not least is green onions. Now let's bring everything into a pot. Beside all this vegetable that I prepare, I also need 5 cloves of garlic and 2 star anise and 1 small piece of cinnamon stick. I also love to put some black peppercorn. And the most important ingredient is Korean soybean paste. I put around 1 spoonful of soybean paste. Last but not least is the cooking wine. Now let's bring it to boil. When it comes to boil, put in the pork belly and let it cook for 30 to 40 minutes depending on the size of the meat. While the pork is boiling, I will prepare some dipping sauce and side vegetable. Here I am chopping some green onion and garlic to make a salted shrimp dipping sauce. As you see in this bowl, there are some green onion, chopped garlic, 1 tablespoon of salted shrimp, sugar, pepper flake, and 1 tablespoon of cooking wine. Mix it all together and the salted shrimp sauce is done. For the sweet sour soy sauce, all we need are 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of Korean pepper flake, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of rice syrups, and 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. Stir it well and another sauce is done. This sweet sour soy sauce is good to serve with green onion or garlic chive. The last side vegetable that I'm going to make to serve with the boiled pork is radish salad. We have to cut the radish into small strips, then simply season it with half tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of Korean pepper flake, and 1 tablespoon of fish sauce. After everything is well combined, the radish is softened but still crispy. So it is time to put some sesame seed. Give it a good mix, then you're done. Now let's look at the pork. Seems like it is nicely cooked, so I will transfer it to a cutting board to slice it. Of course, it requires time and effort to cook this delicious dish, but it really worth it. By now, my video is coming to the end. I hope you enjoy watching this video, and if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with friends and family. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope to see you in my next next video as well. Bye!